Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you fuck with me, hit that donate button too. Now, a lot of people aren't going to like this video because they're either triple, they're either a fan of Triple G or a fan of Canelo, and I really don't give a fuck about either one of these fighters, but we got to cover the news, right? I'm trying to bring y'all more content, so I'm going to give you my motherfucking opinion on this shit. We know what's been going on with both of these guys, right? Triple G just got stripped of his IBF championship because he don't want to fight his mandatories. You don't want to fight a tough opponent. You know, he wants to fight Vonis Moderation and beat his ass and win in an easy fight for a quick couple mil. Canelo, on the other hand, decided to eat some of Oscar's tainted meat or, or some shit like that, right? He popped dirty twice for clenbuterol, banned substance, but... We know he was juicing up before this. We know he was fucking juicing probably his entire career, man. Allegedly, he's been juicing, you know. I think he was probably taking some shit. You know, just look at his physique, man. But, you know, they probably caught him off, you know, as he was nearing the end of his cycle. Caught his ass with some clenbuterol. You know, ain't no tainted meat in Mexico, motherfucker. You got millions of dollars. You got millions of dollars to import you some fucking meat from somewhere clean. Instead of eating that Russian, Mexican, hybrid horse shit, all right? Now, it looks like, you know, well, obviously both sides have been trying to make a a rematch, but they haven't been able to agree on the purse split, right? Uh, Triple G wanted 50-50. Golden Boy like, hell no, we don't want that shit because we need, we need to give you less than 50% so we can have enough money to buy Coke for Oscar, Coke as in cocaine, because that's what he snorts, allegedly. He also likes to stick fucking spoons and shit up his ass. It's all on tape. I don't understand how Canelo even rocks with this guy. Like, how your boss getting fucked by some hoes on Instagram? Like, some thoughts. Like, shit don't make no sense. You know, he needs to he needs to leave Golden Boy. I don't know how you could respect yourself. And be a golden boy fighter, golden girl, golden shower. That, that's basically what you're in for. Now, let me let me get into this quote from um fuck is this? Gomez? What the fuck is this motherfucker's name? Fuck it. We're not gonna get into the quote. Basically, Triple G got until 12 noon on Wednesday, Pacific time, to take a split of 57 and a half. 42 and a half. So 42 and a half in favor of Triple G, 57 and a half in favor of Canelo. Because Canelo's the A side still, right? So he either accepts that or walk away. 24 hours. They said 24 hours that they're going to fight Danny Jacobs. Speaking of Danny Jacobs, they sent him a low ball offer. So, I mean, Danny Jacobs got ordered to fight Sergey Derevichenko, whatever his name is, right? So, like, let's let's cut the bullshit, all right? Canelo and Triple G, their team's been fucking working together, man. This is all show. I don't believe shit these motherfuckers are saying. Now, they, Tom Lawford saying, oh, he's going to leave it in uh, uh, Glovkin's hands as to whether or not he wants to take that split. Hell yeah, you want to take that split because he's getting stripped like a bitch left and right. They took his IBF belt. They're going to take his WBC belt if you don't end up fighting Canelo, you know. So he really got no choice but to fight him. And Canelo needs to fight Triple G because he getting popped dirty for banned substances, taking shit, you know? So really, he needs to get in the ring with somebody that's worth a damn. And Triple G, who really ain't worth a damn, is worth a damn, right? Because motherfuckers still want to see the rematch. I don't want to see that shit. Well, you know, you know, look, man, Triple G should have won that first fight. You know, we had that shit with the judges. You know, the second fight... It just better not be any bullshit, man. Like, if Canelo, if you're going to go hard on Triple G or Triple G go hard on Canelo, man. Like, like I want to see somebody get knocked out. Like, neither one of these guys has been knocked out before. You know, Canelo's got one loss to Floyd. Triple G hasn't lost. Like, somebody needs to get stopped, man. You motherfuckers supposed to be stopping each other. But apparently, Canelo can't even hurt Triple G. So, you know, like I said in many videos in the past, all I really give a shit about is 
what happens after this fight. But since so much bullshit's happened, it, it don't even fucking matter what happens after. I mean, Triple G can't be undisputed, or he's probably not going to go for undisputed because his IBF belt's gone, you know? It, you know, Billy Joe Saunders playing Doug Doug Goose with these motherfuckers. Like, so it's, like, what's really popping off, man? Like, we're not trying to wait around for this shit, man. And then you give him this bullshit out. What's, what is 57.5? 42.5. But you know what? That's the best deal he's going to get, man. Like, he needs to just go ahead and take it. You know, like I, I know I mentioned earlier in this video that they're probably all working together. So, this fight's going to happen in September. That bullshit-ass suspension that Canelo served. What do you know fucking suspension, man? This motherfucker been caking up, juicing up. Fucking, you see this motherfucker, man. This is shit stupid, man. Boxing is dumb. I don't like Canelo Alvarez and I don't like Triple G. But the lesser of two evils to me, damn. I was going to say Triple G, but the motherfucker scared to fight tough opponents. Man, this is what we got to look forward to. This is what we really got to look forward to. I don't want to see Danny Jacobs fight Canelo. This motherfucker ain't been looking right since he lost to Triple G. The fuck, man? This is all Oscar De La Hoya's fucking fault, man. Dropping dirty for it's like six months suspension ain't shit, man. Hitman Boxing, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what? Actually, and another thing, Canelo just got stripped to the Ring Magazine belt, man. He got stripped of the ring magazine belt. These these two, these two pussies need each other, man. They really do. They need one another. They owe it to each other to fight each other, to elevate their life. But anyway, Hitman Boxing, you know, I'm, a, I'm not sure if I'm going to drop this shit right now or tomorrow. I might as well just drop this shit tonight, man. Motherfuckers don't even care about Canelo or Triple G anyway. But we can have a discussion if you want. You know, you can say... Um, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to boxing because, you know, Triple G's great and black people don't like Mexican. Like, come on, man. Like, that shit's old. You watching the video, right? Why well, you think that ad plays in the beginning? Because you talk shit. That's why. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. I woke up in a strange place. Right next to a strange face. Head banging like a drum. I do not know what I've done. I see a couple empty bottles Thinking it's today but it's tomorrow A new day, same shit And I think I got a habit I'm feeling like a scumbag this world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another Oh, the contradictories That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free Most would say that's not normal, but for me life is but a dream And your reality is what it seems I'm sitting in the crib, I found on Craigslist Staring out in space, scheming what my next move is I'm thinking that it's time to move west No idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best Not exactly where I thought I'd be Honestly, a 9 to 5 never was in my dreams I've been feeling all alone lately Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby When I came up out the womb Everybody knew It was something special about me that fills a room I never understood it But my OG told me it's a blessing I should use it to the fullest And that's what I've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds Suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital 
I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds 